Yo, what's up guys? My name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of OzJam, one of the main software engineers here. And in this video, we are going to talk about break even win probabilities in sports betting. This is a really important concept. Um, everybody knows that winning a plus 900 is much better than winning a plus 100. You're winning $900 versus $100. So the important question is, how do you think about the odds you are getting in a mathematical way? And that's what we are going to discuss in this video, okay? It's also interesting to me because a lot of people will talk about, oh, I won, you know, my win-loss record in sports betting is 50 and 39. And the question I always wonder in my head is like, okay, were you betting at minus 200 odds and you're the worst sports better in the world? Or were you betting at plus 200 odds and you're the most profitable sports better in the world, right? Everything is related to the odds that you are getting, which we'll go through here. So we can start with the most simple example, plus 100. If you are betting plus 100 odds, you have to win 50% of the time to break even. And we can think about that in a simple way. You know, you're betting 100, you profit 100 if you win, you lose 100 if you lose, right? So you just have to win 50% of the time to break even. It's just like flipping a coin, right? If you flip a coin with your friend, you give him $100 of its tails, he gives you $100 of its heads, you could flip that coin all day long, and it's, you know, the coin is gonna land on heads 50% of the time, tails 50% of the time, and, you know, you will break even. So the key is realizing, your break-even win probability for plus 100 odds is 50%. So if you are winning plus 100 odds in sports betting, if you are winning plus 100 odds um, wagers more than 50% of the time, you are making money as a sports better. Um, if you are winning less than 50% of the time, you are losing money, okay? So we can go to the next example, minus 200 odds. So you can see a formula kind of emerge. Minus 200, you have to win two thirds of the time. Minus 300 odds, you have to win three out of four times, okay? So minus 200 odds, let's say your unit size is $100. You're betting 100 to profit 50, right? So you're betting 100, if you win, you profit 50. So for every loss you have, you have to have two additional wins. You have to win two thirds of the time to break even. Okay, so you have to win 66.6% .6 of the time to break even, two out of three times, right? So if you are betting minus 200s and you are winning 70% of the time, you are a mathematically profitable sports better. You're gonna make a lot of money sports betting. If you're winning these, you know, minus 200, 65% of the time, you are a losing sports better, right? It's just how the math works out. Um, so next we can go to plus 200. Plus 200s, you have to win one out of, you know, this number plus one, one out of three times. So plus 300s, you'd only have to win one out of four times. And you can think about it and it makes sense. If you're betting something that's plus 200 and then you lost, you lost, so you'd lose $100 in your unit, you'd lose $100 in your unit, and then you'd profit $200. So you only need to win one out of three times that you're betting plus 200s to break even. Again, plus 300, you'd have to win one out of four times, right? So plus 200 odds, if your unit size is $100, you lose $100, you lose $100, you profit $200. So you only have to win one out of three times to break even. If you're winning more than one out of three times, you're a profitable sports better. If you are winning less than one out of three times, say 30% of the time, you're a losing sports better. You're an ATM machine for the sports book, okay? And it's really interesting. I bet a lot of golf. I'll bet, you know, people to win golf tournaments. And typically those are pretty long odds. And you can think about it. If something's plus 900 odds, like, you know, some golfers are, you only have to win one out of 10 times, 10% 10 of the time to break even. Okay. So if you think about that, you know, you could lose $100 nine different times because your profit is $900 when you win. So you only have to win one out of 10 times you're going to lose most of the time you bet plus 900s, even if you are a profitable sports bet. It's a terrible feeling, but I'll tell you it is how it is. And it's all about, right, if you're winning this 12.5% of the time, you are a mathematically profitable sports better. It's all about finding, you know, odds that you are getting on sports books where your actual win percentage is greater than the implied win percentage from the odds. 
So I personally would bet any plus 900 that I thought was 11% to win or 12% to win, 14%, 15%, whatever, because even though it's most likely going to lose, I have a mathematical edge over the sports books and placing those bets in the long run is going to make me money. The final one we'll talk about is minus 110 odds, okay? Minus 110 odds. Minus 110 odds following the same formula as the minus 200 odds, you have to win 11 out of 21 times to break even. That's 52.4% of the time. So this is obviously minus 110. It's very common in point spreads. It's very common in totals. Um, you have to win 52.4% of the time to cover the juice on sports books in just to break even. So if you are beating minus 110 odds more than 52.4% of the time, you are making money, right? And if you are not, then you're losing money and you're just draining the vig or the house edge to the sports book. So that's just a brief kind of overview of sports betting odds associated win percentages. And it's really important because your whole goal as a sports better is to beat this implied win percentage. You want to find minus 200s that win over 66.6% .6 of the time, right? You want to find plus 200s that win over one third of the time. Then as you place bets, if your win probability is greater than that of the associated odds, you are going to make money in the long run. It's just math, it's just statistics, right? If you are placing bets that are winning more often than the break even win probability, you're gonna make money in the long run, okay? So this is a little bit about odds and their relationship to probability and in in implied win probability. So I hope you found this useful and we're going to dive into odds jam briefly to kind of discuss the plus ev page and hopefully you know how the odds jam plus ev page can make you money so we just explained that the whole point of sports betting is to find odds where you are winning a higher percentage of the time than the break even win percentage so how do you do that so here is the odds jam plus ev page i'll zoom in a little and what you can see is it shows you all bets in your mathematical profit margin that's in this column so here the top the plus 270 is winning or has an expected profit margin of 6.94 percent so how do we get this pinnacle sportsbook is the sharpest bookmaker in the world okay pinnacle sportsbook is the sharpest bookmaker in the world so here we see on central michigan their market on the plus 15 point spread is minus 153 plus 124. So if we go to a no vague fair odds calculator, this tells us that according to Pinnacle, this bet should be winning 57.53% of the time. 57.53% of the time. So the fair no vague odds are minus 135. So the win probability, the break even, is minus 135 odds. So if we go back to the plus EV page, and again, Pinnacle Sportsbook is the sharpest bookmaker in the world, we see that Central Michigan plus 15 is minus 120 odds on Barstool Sportsbook. That is an expected profit margin of 5.47%. You're getting minus 120 odds in the no vague fair odds should be minus 135, right? So this 120 over 220, so this bet only has to win 54.5% of the time to be mathematically profitable, or I mean our win percentage has to be greater than 54.5, and it's winning like 57% of the time, or whatever we just saw from the no vague fair odds on Pinnacle. So just a very basic tidbit is if you have the sharpest sports book in the world that is a direct arbitrage bet to another sports book, Pinnacle's probably on the right side of things, and the other side, this minus 120, is probably a great bet. And that's because this minus 120, you're getting value odds. Our bet is winning more than the break even win percentage. In the long run, placing bets like Central Michigan, plus 15, we see here, minus 120 odds, will yield an expected profit margin, right? 5.47%. This is something I would bet personally. Um, and again, this is all done by using Pinnacle to find a break-even win percentage. Okay, this is another good bet. Barstool 
plus 160 on Georgia. We can get the no vague fair odds from Pinnacle's market, and then we can get the implied win probability. And because we're getting better odds than the break even odds, we are making money in the long run. Okay, so this is a really important concept in sports betting. And that is beating the break even odds. And you can kind of scroll through and just see all the different examples of plus EV bets. And of course, most people just kind of aim to get in the, on the highest percentage ones.